So today I'm going to teach you a tool that will help you color match your sets perfectly. Stay tuned. So I have a lot of people ask me on my Instagram when I do my live edits and stuff like that. What is this acid dripping looking layer that you put on your images? Just, just why? Why do you do it? Well, it helps to color match. That's all it is. It's seeing the tones a lot more vibrant so you can really, really tweak them quite quickly and quite easily instead of looking at the image in the natural colors and being like, hmm, I sort of close that'll do. But this way you can really, really see what tone out what tonality is in your highlights, what's in your shadows, what's in your midtones. So you can really, really go in and just tweak it that tiny bit. It was perfect. So every time you match up a set, it will be a hundred percent. Even if you want to just even if you just want to grade one image and you can use this if you want greens in your shadows, you can you can do it with this so you can see when it's green and when it just looks right it let's just get into it okay so here you can see two lambo images braided nicely together cool right sweet so this is what i'm going to show you this right here is that acid looking layer the people are always asking me what i'm doing with it so you can see you can see in your shadows in your mids, in your highlights. So if I turn this off, you can clearly see there is a lot of pink in my highlights. There's blue in my highlights as well. And there's orange. Turn that off. Yeah, you might be able to be like, okay, your highlights are a little bit white. There might be a bit of yellow where you can see it on the cement. But this way you can clearly see what colors are where and how you can match them into your set. I do com co co uh, composites, composites. I do composites. So I usually take an image of a car somewhere and then put it onto another background somewhere else. That's no good for color temperature, colors, anything like that. So this is where this comes in so handy. So you can see what color your background is, what color your foreground is, and you can seamlessly merge them together. So, okay, how you make this, it's actually really, really easy. So what you want to do is bring up a new layer. Uh, this is where, into layer, new layer. And you want to put your mode to overlay. And you want to fill this with 50% gray. This will be your gray layer. Now you're looking, well, why isn't it there? Why can't I see it? This is overlay. If you check it to normal, you can see it's just a grey layer, 50% grey. This is another really good way to dodge and burn as well, so you don't do it destructively, but that's for another video. So now we'll turn this layer style onto luminosity. And sort of see the image come through. And then if we double that up with a hue and saturations layer, come down here, go to hue and saturations, and click that and it'll bring one up, but I usually come up into my adjustments panel. Get your hue and hue, hue, hue and saturation. <laughs> Great speaking, Alex. And you want to bump this all the way to 100%. Then you want to click both of these, hold command, click both of these, drag them into a folder, and name it. Always name your layers, kids. Now you can see your guide is now on there. I've done the exact same on here. I'll chuck my guide in. Do chop these. Chop these into not needed because we can do it again. Turn this off. So now you can clearly see these two images do not match. Turn off these guides so you can see. At first glance, you think they match. Yeah, cool. Pretty close, but see, there's a different color in your shadows. Your highlights is a bit too much, too much yellow in it. But over here, you've got a lot of blue. My eyes trained, so I can, as I'm, I'm a retoucher as my day job, so I can see sort of colors a little bit better than maybe some beginning. 
um, beginning? What am I saying? Someone who's starting out with retouching, Photoshop, this sort of stuff. So this is where the guide again comes in handy. If I turn this on, you can see your blues, your pinks, your reds, your oranges, all up in here. If I come onto this one and I'll turn my guide on, it matches to a point. It's close, but we can do fine tweaking to get it pretty nice. So we've got a little bit of blue, we've got a little bit of pink, and we've got a ton of red and orange. Whereas on this one, you've got, obviously you've got the reflection of the car, so we want to get more of that nice green reflection in this reflection here because there's just too much red. There's a lot of red, but over here it's green, yellows, and oranges. So the best way to color correct through my personal preference, come up into your adjustments, Selective color. You can literally turn white into any color you want with selective color once you practice it and you get used to it, that sort of thing. But again, you can come down here and then we'll smack through selective color if I can find it because I never use this. There we go, right at the bottom. Okay, so we can see our colors oranges, your reds, your yellows, your blues, blah, 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 blah. Went to our red channel and add in. Even moving that cyan, you can see the colors are moving. Obviously, you want to look at another image or your first in your set, that sort of thing. So you can see oranges and your reds on the left. So we want to add in oranges and left, oranges and reds on the left. It's a tongue twister. Okay, so we're going to add in some cyan to do that to counteract. Drag there you go. Look at that. If you drag down your magenta. Going to pop in some orange and yellows. Seeing that it's changing it quite a bit, quite a bit. A little bit because the real lights. Chuck the guy back on. To yellows. What you want to do is come, let's go through your channels, play around with it, see what what affects what. And you'll soon pick up when you see blue, you're like, oh, sweet, I have to change my, my green channel. So there you go, you can see the, the reflection that's really starting to pop out now. As on the left, you can see it's really popping out. I want to check it if it still looks good. You can see the greens right in the reflection really popping now. Just like in this one, that's really, really popping. Take that out. See your greens on the floor, they're really popping out. They're really popping out here now. Again, that is just a really, really quick way of doing it. Obviously, this is quite slow because I'm showing, but you get the hang of it. So we want to there we go. Just go through colors because you know what colors are in there because you can see them. They're really, really vibrant and bright. Go into our cyans. So it's not cyans. It's definitely dark blues. Go. Obviously, you can see the blues in the wheels. We want that blue, yellow, yellow and orange because it is on the left. Go through, change that. Really cyan. And now we've changed it from dark blue to cyan. Come into our cyan channel. It says. Okay, we'll come over to this one, check the side off. Okay, I'm still pretty yellow and green on the floor. A lot of yellow and green on the floor. A little bit on the left, but not as much as on the right, okay. Shut the guide back on. Get back in. Sign to it, we'll cut the green out. We on the genters. Let's chuck this guide on so I can see it again. Bear in mind you can use hue and saturation as well if you need to. If you're more comfortable with that, you may not get a really, really fine tweak colours, but you can get a ballpark figure. Just turn this guide off to see. Yep, sweet. Sweet. 
just needs to work on the green a little bit to match the color of the car in because that is key because the client really needs that nice nice crisp color that they want to get out especially with this amg color the amg green you need it to be on point for the client come into greens just change my bit gentle to bring down the highlights yellows in to pop it out a little bit more a bit of black because on the left it is quite dark it is a bit moody grab that down you can change the hue of the green with the cyans there we go you can see that blue uh, blue i mean green see that green really really popping out now again a lot closer that's pretty much there really Yellows, you've got your blues. So if you turn this off, okay. not a selective color. So this is what we started with on the right. And afterwards, it's not the right one, Alex. <laughs> and there we go. See, that is a lot closer to what we had a lot closer so just to recap you want to make your guide you want a 50% gray layer then you want your hue saturation on top of that chuck your saturation all the way to 100 keep your gray layer on luminosity and chuck them in a folder so you can quickly turn them on and off to check then you want to get selective color which you can get from down here at the bottom selective color you want to go through each channel just changing a little bit by a little bit. Sometimes you may have to really, really wrench them up, but it's all a learning curve. And the more you use this, the more your eye will become trained to color and you can really, really hone your craft and get some amazing results throughout your sets because there's nothing worse than having a set of five images and then the third image sticks out like a sore thumb because they don't match so what i'll do i'll drag up third image see the colors all together see the whole set together very sharp i'll insert a meme here or something really long everyone loves meme Pay me maybe SpongeBob meme, maybe a SpongeBob meme. There we go. Okay, Sweet. this is another very very handy thing when you're grading. If you come up to here and go window arrange, have all your images up on one screen, you can see all the colors together. This out. Bring this out. This out. See all of your images together, chuck on all your guides. Yes, it may look like you're editing on acid, but it's all good. So again, you can see your blues, your pinks, your yellows, your reds, and it all sits consistent consistently. So your greens are all matching, your blues are all matching. So you can really, really use this to match in really nice colors and help you grade that a little bit better. So I do hope this helped with your grading. I know a lot of people struggle with the grading side and grading is so, so powerful in an image. So if you do use this, drop me a message on Instagram or a comment at the bottom. I'll leave all the links below. I really do hope this helped. Subscribe for more because I will be doing these weekly. Really need to get back on that grind. So yeah, over and out from me and I'll see you on Instagram. Oh